tucked back behind this line of pine trees is the home where Governor Ralph Northam grew up on the eastern shore of Virginia, a home where Reverend Robert Garris says African Americans were welcomed. I've eaten at his mother's house. As a matter of fact, his mother and father's house was well known by African American community. Garris grew up playing sports with Northam. Governor Northam went into areas that, that, that some whites wouldn't go into. So when this racist image from Northam's medical school yearbook surfaced. The image of um, the black face and the Ku Klux Klan was not an image that warmed my heart. It, it troubled me, it bothered me. Garris says he had trouble reconciling the image with the boy he remembers and the man he knows today. That's certainly not the Ralph that I grew up with. He is not a racist. I would not hang around a racist. In fact, other African-Americans we spoke with in town off camera called Northam a good person and said they like him. Jennifer McClellan, the 9th Senate District. But the Virginia Legislative Black Caucus and scores of black leaders have called for him to resign. As much as I love the guy, there's no opportunity for him to continue to serve as governor. Many question why Northam originally admitted he was in the photo, but then walked that back the next day, saying it was not him. And he later admitted to wearing blackface to imitate Michael Jackson at a dance contest. Blackface was not a part of the curriculum in our literature books. Yet Garris and others who knew Northam when he was young point to these images in yearbooks from the old Onancock High School that show Northam pictured with black classmates. We're not making this up. That's, that's exactly the way it was. Northam's assistant principal at Onancock, Dennis Custis, took us inside the former school, where Northam graduated seven years after Accomack County schools were integrated. This, this is the real deal. The, the, the cameraman is not saying smile and act like you like each other. They're smiling because they do like each other. Fallout from the racist photo scandal has put a spotlight on Onancock and the Eastern Shore. I couldn't believe it. With some wondering if racism ran rampant there when Northam grew up. The governor himself even seemed to hint at that. In the place and time where I grew up, many actions that we rightfully recognize as abhorrent today were commonplace. But while Custis admits Onancock was not perfect, he believes the town fared better than most. For the most part, I've always felt like we were ahead of the curve. I thought we were ahead of the curve in the integration. And while Garris says he doesn't recall Northam in particular ever saying or doing anything racially insensitive, he says that if he did. I pray that Governor Northam and all of us will learn from it. Uh, we've all made mistakes in our lives, um, and sometimes we have to take a little time in order to bounce back. Now, both Garris and Custis told me they support the governor and they don't want him to resign. A spokesperson for the governor told me this week he plans to serve the remainder of his term. Working for you tonight in Richmond, I'm Melissa Hippolyte for CBS 6.